How y'all doing? It's Friday, baby. Y'all know this routine. Anybody that's been around this group for any time knows that you should have your beer on ice, your butt in a bowl. I'm going to open up this beer. Right, we're going to try to do this in one take so I can only open the beer one time. Let's uh, get that out of the way. It's hard to beat a good Dos Equis. Y'all know the rest of that thing. Take a good sip of that nice cold beer. Put that bud in the bowl. And fire that bugger up. It's the weekend. It's what we've been looking forward to. We do this all week just to get to Friday so we can kick back, relax, and enjoy yourself. And uh, now I got mail today. I got mail from Stephanie Dean, Paul Goodwin, Roger Prokish, and Buddy Davis, our own Buddy Davis. I got mail up from all those people today. So after this video, I'm going to do another video for just a blue dot mail call or something. Uh, so we don't interrupt the flow of, 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 the, of the show here. So I'm going to do another video here in a little while. Y'all stay tuned for that because there's a lot going on today. And, uh, and uh, damn, buddy. First, I want to start out because my heart is broke for another shooting. It's the second in one week at the Naval Station down in Pensacola. The other one happened over in Hawaii at Pearl Harbor. But today there was another shooting at the Naval Station, Pensacola, Florida, where three were killed and eight were wounded and two, pol two police officers uh, wounded in a, in a shootout with the, uh, with the shooter, who was a Saudi Arabian military personnel here being trained. And I have been through that before. When I was young and in the Navy, I trained alongside Iranian uh, military personnel. Now it is the Saudi Arabians. He committed the crime with a handgun, which is going to raise a big question on where he got that handgun from. And... Uh, and a lot of questions. Uh, they say the Saudi Arabian government is cooperating. They don't cooperate much in murders. They just commit them themselves. Anyway, with gun legislation being held up by Mitch McConnell, things that could help prevent shootings like this are being stalled on, 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 the, on the Senate floor because Mitch McConnell refuses to do anything about him because he hasn't got the word from Master Donnie about what Donnie will accept from the NRA, which reminds me, I'm a little pissed off about that NRA shit too because again, again, I get mail from the NRA from my father, who I wrote to the NRA twice to inform him that he had passed away in 1980. I still get mail from him wanting money. They don't give a shit. Eh, you got some bucks? We need some money. Uh, the Russians aren't kicking up enough, so they will, uh, we'll send you a little notice here. Freaking assholes. They piss the shit out of me nowadays. Anyway, what's going on? Well, the White House just confirmed a little while ago that they are not going to participate in the impeachment inquiry in the judiciary next week. They don't want nothing to do with it. Just like the inquiry and, and the intelligence committee, they don't want nothing to do with it. They're going to they're gonna clam up. They're not going to let anybody testify. They're not going to release any materials or anything until it gets to the Senate. They're waiting. He wants to wait for the Senate. What? You got, your, you got them in your pocket? Are they so confident in, in, in their disgrace? That, that Donnie can boldly just flip a finger in the face of America because that's what he's doing. Hell, Rudy Giuliani is still right now over somewhere in Ukraine or, or other places trying to hunt down dirt on Bidens. Let's get the Ukraine story here. Let's blow this thing up. Let's get it out in the news because that's the only thing that saves his ass. Oh, Donnie was checking into corruption in general, but it, it, it concerned Burisma and Joe Biden, and so we want to get to the, yeah, kiss my ass. While we sit here 
and diligently, our, 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 our government diligently takes up articles of impeachment with evidence, clear and precise evidence of his misconduct, of his abuse of office, of his, of his dereliction of duty to the, to the oath he took. You, Rudy is still out in the. It's like in your face, baby. It's the same thing as he did with Russia. Are you shitting me? Read the first chapter of the the Mueller report. All the shit that went on with Russians, and they were happy to receive it, baby. He's doing the same thing right now in your face. What are you gonna do about it? Impeach me? Who cares? I got the Senate in my pocket. They'll turn me loose. The House will impeach because that's their duty and they take that so shit seriously. Evidently, the Republicans are just a bunch of paid-off assholes who are willing to watch their country go down the tubes just so they can hold on, to the, hold on to their spot. Who's another guy? North Carolina Congressman George Holding. George Holding, he's not going to be running anymore in the state of North Carolina because, because they, redrew the, they redrew the district maps. They redrew, redrew the map now, so that's more fair. And it turned from a red district into obviously a blue district. So he's not going to run again. He's going to uh, step back and reflect on what he's learned. What? How to lie, cheat, steal? That's what you've learned since you've been a congressman there. That's the only reason that you were in the office was because your 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 party gerrymandered the districts. And as soon as they're redrawn in a fair manner, you get your ass out because you want to reflect on the lessons you learned. I think the whole of the Republican Party needs to step back and reflect on the lessons they're learning right now. The lessons that are going through the House of Representatives. Holding up articles of impeachment for this president, and he doesn't even give a shit. He is, you know, there's a nice little thing, side note I found in here. You know, uh, Mr. Turley, he was the, the constitutional scholar for the Republicans in the, in the judiciary there who argued that this should all go to the courts. You can't come to impeach a guy until you get the evidence, and the evidence hasn't been released because it hasn't gone through the courts yet. It's the stall tactic of the Trump campaign. Take me to court, asshole. I'll tie you up forever. That's Donnie. And that's what the Republican Party is doing with this shit. That's what this White House is doing. What a funny little thing. Seems that Brett Kavanaugh, who, when Clinton was being impeached, worked for Ken Starr. Well, Mr. Kavanaugh, who now sits on the Supreme Court, wrote a nice little piece arguing that using the court's to prevent information to the Congress is an impeachable offense in itself. That's what Kavanaugh says, that you using the courts because of the, 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 the House of Representatives and Congress being an equal and co-equal co branch of government, the president using the courts to deny evidence, to, 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 to battle against releasing evidence is in itself Reason for impeachment. Well, how about it, Brett? You might be tasked to stand up to your word there, buddy, because that's exactly what this guy's doing. He's going to delay. He's going to do everything he can. Dodge, delay, lie, cheat, steal. It's the Republican way, baby. And that's why Mr. George Holding is getting out. It's because all of a sudden the tables are square, baby. They're even. What are you going to do? I ain't going to run no more. Get somebody else out of here because I know I'm going to lose because the only reason they won because they cheated. You know, Virginia, ever since it went blue, ever since we got the governor in the house, there are counties in Virginia now declaring themselves Second Amendment sanctuaries. You know, them, them libertards, they got sanctuary cities are trying to help the, the immigrants over there. We got us a Second Amendment sanctuary. Procla it's not a legal thing. It doesn't do anything to the law or anything. They're just proclaiming their love for guns so everybody can hear it. County municipalities are, 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 are proclaiming, county governments, proclaiming that our county... We don't take no shit. We got guns all over the place. That's wonderful. You want to know how come it was easy for this guy to get a gun? Because that kind of shit runs rampant in 
evidently in Virginia as much as it does in, in, in Texas. It's easy to get a gun. How did he get a gun? Hey, a hundred different ways. It's legal, illegal, whatever. It don't matter, does it? It should, baby. We can't keep up with these mass shootings, and it breaks my heart. That again, it's happened on a naval station. But anywhere it happens in this country, we all bleed a little bit every time this happens. And while Mitch McConnell and Donnie the Dick sit up there and play politics with people's lives, when they don't give a shit about the law, this stuff continues. And if we don't stand up to an abusive president trying to get trying to get foreign governments to interfere in our elections. Elections won't mean shit anymore. There's a reason we're doing this. It's to prevent people from stealing our elections. Whether it be in North Carolina in the, in the districts or in this whole country. We fight for it or we lose it, baby. Anyway, y'all look for another video later on. I'm going to do one with the mail. Show y'all I got. And, uh... <laughs> I love it, baby. Y'all take care. Uh, like, oh, wait, no, 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 no. Oh, I get in all sorts of trouble if I don't hit the button, man. I'm telling you. That would get me in trouble if I forget to hit the button. Anyway, we want to thank all our, our Patreon donors and those that send us mail. And remember, if you want to send us a Christmas card, we're going to put up a little string up here with everybody's card on it that we get this year. And uh, so if you want to send one, it's Post Office Box 2607. Well, let me start that shit over. Post Office Box 260-070, Corpus Christi, Texas, 78426. If you want to send us a Christmas card, we'd be happy to get it. Anyway, our heart, it goes out to all those that send the gifts. Thank you, Stephanie Dean, uh, Buddy Davis, Buddy Davis, Paul Goodwin, and Roger Prokish. We appreciate it very much. And, and, and it just lifts our spirit. Anyway, stay tuned because i got some neat stuff in the mail we're going to show you. And uh, on that note, like, share, subscribe. John Bernabeu, Blue Dot in Texas. Let your light shine, baby. We've got less than a year until this election. It is the time for everybody to be in the line. Nobody in the bunker, baby. Nobody hides from this shit. We all have to be on the line if we want to win this. So y'all take care. John Bernabeu on Facebook, on YouTube, on Liker. On MeWe. Anywhere else I can get it on Twitter at Blue Dot in Texas. Anywhere else out my truck window. Y'all take care. And uh, next Blue Dot family meeting will be on uh, Sunday. We had a great time last night. Three live shows in a row. I enjoyed it. So y'all come for the next one. We'll see y'all later.